Check this out, brothers and sisters. Our galactic sun is not 93 million miles away. All right, let's think about it. If our galactic sun was 93 million miles away, these Saxons wouldn't be able to put a video on and they wouldn't be able to record it because it would be too far away. All right? You see that? I mean, they tell the truth on video, but they tell a lie in the science class. All right? As you can see, you see that? They have video of our galactic sun. Which means that it's not 93 million miles away. All right, it's not. Our galactic sun is much closer than what you could ever imagine. It's way closer than what you could ever imagine. All right. Hence, it's the reason why they can read the what they call the KP index, and they can read the energy coming off of the sun. All right, off our galactic sun. And you remember, we, we have to remember, just like we said before, you cannot believe anything these Saxons say. You can't believe nothing they say. Everything that they say is a lie. All right, everything. So they say, oh yeah, you know, the, the black sun is, the sun is 93 million miles away. That's what they say. But it's actually a few thousand miles away, which is why you can see it in the night sky. We're gonna talk about that. All right. They have all these instruments to measure, you know, what's being, um, the energy that's coming around our realm and our planet, you know, they have these, they have these instruments, you know, and that's another reason why uh, Elon Musk is putting that stuff up there because they need to read the energy that's coming from the cosmos to our planet. All right. Which, you, you know, we said our planet is much bigger. We are the North Pole. We are directly at the North Pole. That's where we are. All right. Oh, here. We're directly at the North Pole. All right, so your Antarctica and Arctic Circle and all that, that is all north. So um, we can see things that others can't see, but this is this is important that we understand that our galactic sun is not as far away as you used to say it is. All right, you look in the night sky. And look toward the east. You can see this like this reddish, orangey um, star. That's our galactic sun, which is extremely close to us. I could say probably more than likely some anywhere from six to seven thousand miles away from our planet. All right, somewhere within that vicinity. All right, so this is why they are able to use their cameras and zoom in because if they, if our, if our galactic sun was 93 million miles away, it would be impossible for them to put satellites up there and view something 93 million miles. That don't even sound halfway right. As you can see, they can read the flares that's coming off of our galactic sun. So they do have the technology, the, the camera technology to read several thousand feet. I mean, several thousand miles, all right? Which is um, more so a technology that's created through magnifying glass. So they link that into this powerful magnifying glass which is nothing but glass bending so that you'd be able to see far away just like the telescopes that they use you know and that's all it is is like the the um satellites are nothing but telescopes up in the sky that they use 
and it's you know they have like this small magnifying glass small powerful magnifying glass where they can zoom in and see and they got that from us they got that type of technology from us because we have been created that technology but I would like the sun is not 93 million miles away maybe 9,000 miles away or maybe eight or seven thousand miles away but not 93 million miles that's impossible and I had to think about that I said this is impossible for our galactic sun to be 93 million miles away and they're reading energy from the sun these sections lie about everything everything that they that they told they lie about it yes 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 everything like I said on a clear night you look in the eastern sky and you see this dot this red dot all right that's our galactic sun that's our galactic sun and what do we say these energies that come off the sun what happens when, when you have this plasma energy and it's coming off the sun our galactic sun and it's coming towards our way you have all these atomic particles that are attaching to it and this plasma is giving off a certain frequency and this frequency of building up on frequencies and, and as, these, as that plasma energy continues to flow towards us, you know, you see all that plasma energy as it continues to flow. And that's just the way it flows. It flows just like that. And it, and, and, and it attaches to the kinetic energy, to the dark energy, to um, that uh, uh, powerful uh, atomic structure of the cosmos. And it comes just this way, but it builds up. It becomes more powerful. So by the time it gets to us, you know, because it's got to feed a whole planet. This has got this is enough energy that it's got to feed the whole entire planet. So this is the way the cosmos is designed. So our galactic sun is there, and it's designed to feed the planetary bodies. So as this leaves the galactic sun, it expands. It becomes more powerful. The frequencies become more more greater the energies become greater all right extremely powerful energies that 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 comes from this here and then it makes it to us if our galactic sun was 93 million miles away it would be impossible location east of the curl islands class light magnitude 4.4 52 minutes ago that's because of one of the flares and I like the sun is constantly feeding us. But if it was 93 million miles away, it would be impossible for this to reach us. It would be impossible. 9,000 miles away? That's more like it. That's more like it. That, that sounds more reasonable. 9,000 miles away. But it's so big that you see it in the night sky. And the only thing you see is a dot, but you know it's the galactic sun when you finally look at it because it looks just like this right here. A reddish orange color. And you can see it in the night sky. Be like, that's our galactic sun. So these Saxons lie about everything, brothers and sisters. Ooh, you can see that. Just it's just by showing this right here. It's, it's having an effect on the screen here. Let's see how I do this right here. I do that there. It's got an effect on the screen just by looking at it. But this is our galactic sun. So as this energy leaves, it's just like that. It's, it's a fiery energy. And it gathers frequencies and gather vibration, gather at atoms and protons and neutrons and electrons and and it and it gathers, alright? gets all kind of energy it gets this ether and photon and plasma energies and, and and krypton and all kind of different energies it grabs and all these uh, energies that's within the cosmos helps it to expand and by the time it get to our colossal planet it feeds the whole planet <laughs> and this is when these Saxons on this upper realm that we're on take it upon themselves to um, cover the sky to try to block the energy from coming. All right. Know the truth, brothers and sisters. We have a virus on our planet, and we've got to get rid of this virus. We've got to. We got to work hard to get rid of this virus. But I would like to sign. It's not 93 million miles away. I'm tell you that now. It's more like you know, like I say, anywhere from seven to nine thousand miles away. All right. 
I want y'all to listen to the way this world. He's on my fugal. I want you to listen to what he got to say. Pay close attention, okay, to what he got to say. So this one is not going to hit us, but um, it, yeah, it did do what that did. If that had hit us, um, yeah, I, I do think we would have issues. I that was it's a big one. It truly is. Uh, when you see those what I call wings, they kind of flat when as it's running. You can see it kind of just open up and spread. If you if you follow those out, that it ends up being larger than the sun itself, and um, those are. That's plasma. Those are like the big plasma arms flapping open. So, you know, as I'm looking at this CME, I, for some reason, as I'm looking at it, it that face just popped out at me. Um, you know, I guess our brains just do kind of crazy things sometimes when we see those kinds of things. I just. than the sun itself and um those are 